Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today I have um, a She Modern nail art design, but I also have a mini haul from Lena. I just ordered two of her brand new plates that just came out, and I will be using one of them with the She Modern um, foil art. So let's get started. So first I'm going to show you the new Lena plates um, that just released not too long ago. And one, um, the first one I'm going to show you is Swirls and, Sw Swirls and Twirls 2, which is awesome. It's exactly what I was looking for in a swirly nail art plate. Um, so this is pretty amazing. I love it. And the next one I have is Summer 03, Four Seasons Summer 03. And this is the one that I am going to use today. It's got a lot of nice images here. And I really love it. I also wanted to show you that I have just recently um, organized all of my She Modern um, foil art. So this book is just all flowers. I've put all of my mixing canvas in a um, plastic baggie and all of my stencils. Um, and a plastic baggie too. So when you order She Modern, you get whatever foil art sheet you ordered. You get um, you get a, um, a sample of another foil art, and then you get one of these and one of these. So um, just wanted to show you that this is a pretty awesome way of storing them, and I and now it's just going to be so much easier for me to go ahead and flip through here and grab what I need. The little um, random ones um, that I got, I put in the little poly bag that the stencil stopper and this came in and this came in. So I just took these little baggies and I saved them all and I just organized them by um, theme and then I positioned them so I can see all of the colors in there. So today I'm going to use these hibiscus flowers and these ones are the um, the foil art ones, not the water slides. I'm just going to take these out. Maybe, maybe I'm going to take them out, maybe I'm not. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Come on out. There we go. So I'm going to use um, some of these smaller ones today. Okay, so I am planning on using six of them today. And I'm just going to cut them in little rows. And then Put them this way. There we go. Oops, sorry. So I've got my my stamper and it is flat. I'm just going to put these on here like this. Okay, I'm going to use my Insta Dry on these, and I'm going to actually color in the flowers. I want some neon flowers. So I'm going to just put some of this um, Insta Dry. On a tin foil, you can use mixing canvas if you want, but this is 
just easy enough for me to throw away. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to outline the foil art. And fill in the center. And Nails of Interest had a really good idea that if you bring the polish down a little bit to form kind of like a handle, it's easier to get it off of the, um, easier to lift it off. But you know, I did see in another video I won't do that this time. I saw in another video um, where you just use the stamper to kind of do it on your finger. So I think I'm going to try that method today instead of pulling off the nail art. So I'm just going to do that to these um, six flowers and let it dry and then come back. Okay, I'm going to use these three colors from the Brights collection, the Zoya Brights collection, back from a couple of years ago. Um, I believe they're still available. We have Kana, um, Bisca, and this blue one called, I don't know, Julia. Why is my camera focusing? There we go. Right, and I'm going to color in each um, flower a different color. Um, there we go. Thank you, camera. We're deciding, deciding to join the party. So I'm going to put each one of these colors on the tin foil and then color it in with my um, brush. Okay, I think these are really beautiful colors. They're a little bit on the sheer side, so we are going to, I'm, I'm going to have to um, go in with a white um, background over the top of this so that they, so that their colors pop out. Now that those are dry, I'm going to take Wave Gel's Snow Ice, and um, this is the regular polish from the Matching Polish Collection, and I am just going to put these over the back of these um, flowers. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do to these um, flowers to prep them for putting on my nails 
is to back them with some nail foil glue. This is my favorite base gel from Wave Gel. Actually, it's the only base gel from Wave Gel. <laughs> For my background color, I'm going to use Soul's Chill Out uh, Mood Gel. Okay, so we're just going to apply the first coat. And this is the color that it is when it is cool. Mostly the Mood Gels, when they come right out of the bottle, they're, they're, um, cool colors and not their warm colors. Okay, I'm just going to put that on all of my fingernails and we'll come back for a second coat. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the second coat. And this, this is the warm color. Okay, so I have two coats on all of my fingers and I'm just going to remove the tacky layer. I'm going to use this image right here and I'm going to use my favorite green for the leaves and it's called See What I Green by Hit the Bottle. I'm using my Queen Stamper from Walmart. Okay. Well, that is a really good pickup. And I'm just going to put this on my fingers. And I should have gotten some liquid latex. So I think I'm going to put that around my fingers right now. shiny no clean top coat. I'm going to do this to all of my nails and then cure it. We'll come back and add the flowers we made. Okay, so now I'm going to put the flowers on. I'm going to cut each one out. Separately. Put it back on the stamping head. It's stuck to my finger because it's got glue on it. Oh, this glue is like really sticky. Okay, there we go. All right, and then I am going to put them on my fingers. I'm just kind of, I don't know, that's what Nora does in the, <laughs> so maybe I need a sticky one. She just does that, and the film comes off. The film is not coming off. Look at what she does. Oh, it came off. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to put another one on my finger. I got to cut them apart though. Okay. So I'm going to put another one right here. And then I'm just going to tap at it like this. Oh, 
and it came off. Oh, that's pretty cool. And I have one more left. And I'm just going to put this one right here because I kind of just wanted like a cluster. So we're just going to tap, tap, tap it with this sticky stamper until the film comes off. But this one has a big film on it. Probably, nope, it's not doing it. There it goes. Okay, so I'm going to trim around the edges with some acetone, um, just on this pink one, and uh, then, then I'll come back and we'll do this other finger. Okay, so I really like how that looks. So I'm going to do the same thing. I might do the flowers in a little bit different order, um, or maybe not. I'm going to just cut this one over here so it's kind of stuck there and then the next one goes over here that way, <laughs> that way we're getting smart oh gosh darn it my my thumb cut the glue on the other one I was being so careful okay that was the gist all right, so this one, oh, this one's the blue one. I don't want the blue one next. Okay, I think I'm going to do, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this one up here. So I just push that down. Uh-oh, this little guy came off. There we go. Sticky little things. Zoom you in. So I've got my queen stamper. Oh, that was easy. And it just came up. I'm really liking this idea. Um, I think Nora said she got the idea from. She just got the idea from Tina. I don't remember seeing it though, but um, I don't know. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the pink one, and I'm doing that over here. Okay, and then I just take the really sticky stamper and just. Do that until it comes up, and there it goes. Came up, okay. And then we've got the blue one, and I'm gonna put, put the blue one in the middle right here. And then I'm just going to bounce this around until I see the clear film. Uh, my stamper head. Hmm, this one's being a little stubborn. Let's see if I can lift this one a little bit. We go I lifted it off perfect so I'm going to clean up anything that's around the edges of my finger and then we'll come back and do the top coat okay so now we're ready for the top coat and then we'll cure it okay, and then I'll come back and we'll take a look at the final design so here is the finished look and this you can see the um, warm um, gel peeking through oh my gosh I really love these flowers oh, all right so let me get my fingers cold and we'll come back and take a look at what it's gonna look like when my fingers are cold which it's summer for the most part they'll probably be warm except for when the air conditioning kicks in at work <laughs> And here's what they look like when they're cold. It's kind of pretty blue peeking through. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.